welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Badu. so in today's video i will be speaking about my gap year i asked you guys a month ago on instagram to send me in any questions or anything that you'd like to know about taking a gap year so i will be answering those questions but before i get into the questions i'm just going to give you guys a little background on moi so i matriculated in 2019 and during my matric year i was very 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 confused okay I literally wanted to study like seven or eight different things at some point I wanted to do teaching then nursing digital marketing um, town planning medicine I wanted to do a BSc as well drama acting I don't know I wanted to do almost every single thing okay so my parents noticed a very 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 early I think in around June that I was confused so they started like talking to me about taking a gap year which is something i wasn't really planning on doing i never ever thought about it but they literally used to tell me that girl we can see how confused you are and we don't want you to go and study something that you're not sure about and then mid semester you are dropping out or you are changing from course to course you know and you're gonna end up having depression because you're so confused and frustrated and blah 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 so take a gap year so even though i knew that i was gonna take a gap year because my parents have already been speaking to me about it i just told myself that i still need to get good marks in matric in case i do not take a gap year or in case i study you know after my gap year so that being said i passed my matric very well i got an ap score of 39 i missed two distinctions literally by two points each no one point and two points I almost got a distinction for english home language i got 78 percent for english literally i missed it by two percent then i would have gotten a distinction for it and then for afrikaans as well i got 79 percent i missed it by one percent and i would have gotten a distinction but other than that my marks really good i didn't have a problem the only mark of mine that wasn't great was my maths mark but my maths mark wasn't bad as well i did pass and i could still go off to varsity with that mark it's just that it wasn't like 70s or 60s you know i was just getting 50s and 40s for maths but i was always getting those type of marks for maths i'm just not a numbers person but that doesn't mean i'm dumb okay that's just my weakness okay so during my gap year i went ahead and i rewrote maths i did not want to rewrite maths but my family thought that it would be a good idea since I was just sitting at home and not doing anything and that was it before I knew it my gap year was over it's a year later and I am working full-time a nine-to-five which I highly do not recommend like it is very difficult to work a nine-to-five and push being a content creator at the same time because you don't get time okay so yeah that's just a little background on me so now I'm gonna get into the questions I've gone through the questions already and some of them need me to give deep answers and I'm just thinking how I'm going to do that because I'm not a deep person at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not that type of person. I I kind of am emotionally unavailable. So yeah, but I'm going to try and answer these questions to the best of my ability. So the first set of questions are kind of the same. So I'm going to answer them collectively. How did you feel when your friends or mates went to uni? When you chose the gap year, did you ever worry about the fact that your peers are moving forward? Did you ever struggle with comparing yourself to your peers? How did you feel when you saw your classmates go to university? How did you get the courage to face your friends? Did you get FOMO seeing your friends go to school while you pursued different ventures? Pressure you felt around the conversation, peers getting accepted and relocating. How did you cope? I didn't cope with seeing my friends make it to varsity. How did you cope or deal with the pressure? Okay, so I'm a human being and jealousy is a natural human emotion, okay? So when I saw people around me, my peers, people I went to school with and people that I know go off to varsity, of course I felt jealous, you know, because I was feeling like they are getting to live their dreams, they are getting to move to new cities, they are getting the opportunity to meet new friends, some of them are moving into brand new apartments, you know, all of that. And those are just things that I really wanted for myself as well. But unfortunately, I couldn't have them at that point in time. So I was jealous and, you know, all of that. But that didn't last for long. I only felt that way maybe for the first few weeks of varsity opening for my mates. After that, I just accepted it and I moved on with my life. Time management skills when rewriting. I'm the worst person to ask this because, like I said, I rewrote maths. But I honestly wasn't studying seriously for it. I only started studying like seriously or practicing seriously for maths towards the end of the year, like closer to the time of 
the test date you know yeah um after i rewrote maths my marks were even worse so i literally just tore up my statement right there and there and i didn't even bother using those points like if you want to manage your time well i can definitely advise you to have like a study timetable that is the best way to allocate your time and be serious about it like do it religiously and push yourself there's no one that's gonna push you and motivate you because you're not at school anymore you know back at school we had our teachers constantly asking us to study and take school seriously but now that you're done with school you're on your own you need to motivate yourself you need to push yourself to work hard so just like have a study timetable and keep reminding yourself of the new mark that you want to get just so that you can be motivated enough to study for it didn't you end up feeling lazy when you had to go back to being busy and readjusting to books I honestly didn't feel lazy at all because all that time at home made me want to be busy so bad, you know, because my days were the same. I would wake up, take my little brother to school, come back home, clean, cook every single day until like maybe September when I started studying for maths, you know. So my days were very boring at home every single day. So during that time, I was wishing so bad that I could be busy. The moment I got the opportunity to start working and being productive and being busy, I was very excited it definitely was not a huge adjustment for me at all is the transition of not being at school then going back to school hard um i'm still not at school i'm not studying this year i am working full time and i don't think it will be too hard you know if you know what it is that you want then anything shouldn't be hard for you like you should just tell yourself that okay you know what i took a gap year but now i'm back at school i need to study i need to focus and then you'll just have to make that mind switch but yeah literally anything you put your mind to you can do so even if i do go back to school maybe next year the year after the year after that i don't think it will be that hard for me to get back into you know studying and all of that she's asking me don't i get bored she's a student but when she's on holiday she keeps asking herself when are the schools reopening and then someone's asking me what did she do to keep busy i'm upgrading in june and i know i'm gonna be bored i wasn't doing much every single day was the same like i said i would just like wake up in the morning take my little brother to school come back clean you know and then that was only for the first few months of the year and then lockdown happened and uh, everyone was at home you know i wasn't doing much just chilling watching netflix then later on that year i started preparing for maths so i started studying but i mean very 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 late in the year i rewrote maths in november only around September I started preparing for math. So yeah, literally every single day at home I was not doing much. But I honestly wasn't bored. I really enjoyed that quiet time and that time of me being at home alone most of the time because I actually got to learn so much about myself. And you know, all that time alone, you think a lot about your life and your decisions and all of that. All that free time gave me time to work on myself. I really enjoyed not having to do anything because I mean, I was going to school for 12 years straight and I'm not even counting preschool years, okay? Like, yo, I definitely deserved having a year of just not doing anything. You know what I mean? How can one not waste time during a gap year? The only way you cannot waste time during a gap year is if you actually find some things to do, like things that you want to achieve. So for example, a gap year would be really good for you if you are maybe planning on getting your driver's license or if you are planning on getting some work experience. So try to achieve things that you haven't gotten a chance to achieve because you're always in school and you're always busy. And also use your gap year to work on other things like let's say if you've always had a dream of making clothes use your gap year to learn how to make clothes you know stuff like that but i upgraded last year but till this day i regret it i was anxious most of the time and too hard on myself this is the part where i said some of the questions need a deep response and i'm not a deep person but i completely understand with me as well i didn't want to rewrite maths but i did and i feel like that's also why i wasn't studying for it because it's not something that i wanted to do and when the time came of me going to rewrite i wrote so badly i literally had like a mental block i went blank i couldn't remember anything i had been practicing for like the last month or two and i was very anxious as well so i completely understand how you felt at that moment you know but yeah that's literally all i can say to you i'm so sorry how did you get opportunities without a cv i made opportunities for myself so during my gap year 
I was using my social media platform. Um, I was either promoting artists and small businesses, or I was working with brands, but not big brands. I only worked with one brand, which was Clear, you know, the company that sells um, Vaselines and body creams and lotions. Yeah, so the things that I did didn't require me to have a CV because I already used what I had, you know what I mean? But ways to make money. I would say get a job during your gap year, but that's very difficult. We live in South Africa. There are no jobs but yeah try to like create an opportunity for yourself so let's say if you have always been interested in doing nails or learning how to do nails learn that during your gap year so that you can start providing that service to people and you can make money from it and that would be so nice to make money from something that you are interested in as well and that you actually enjoy doing you know so i would say definitely work on your skills so that you can start using your skills to make money for yourself or work on developing your interests so that you can use that to make money for yourself so whether you are interested in makeup work on perfecting that craft during your gap year so that you can start doing makeup for people for like functions and stuff and you can get money from that or learn how to do hair so you can do that for money you know anything that is a service or anything that you know people will always spend money on you know beauty for example is something that a lot of people spend money on so but if you're a guy then i don't know child learn how to cut hair <laughs> what do you do currently and how did you get there currently i am working full time i'm working with my family at our clinic we have a clinic that has been existing for i'm sure 10 or 12 years now my mom founded the clinic in is it founded she started this business of having her own private clinic in i think 2010 so it's been existing since then so last year in around november i joined them but I wasn't working full-time in November. I only started working full-time now in May when my co-worker passed away. But before that, I was just working like three to four times a week, stuff like that. But yeah, so right now I am working with my family. How I got there, I just asked my parents for a job because I was just like, I don't want to sit at home every single day. So yeah, I'm working currently. Why did you take a gap year? Where are you studying now and what are you studying? I'm currently recording a voiceover because as I was editing this video, I realized that my English was so bad and not making sense at all. But like I said earlier on, I took a gap year because my parents convinced me into taking one, but I don't regret it at all. Looking back, like I'm definitely way better at making decisions. I'm not as confused and indecisive anymore. So my gap year really helped in that aspect of my life. And yeah, um, a gap year wasn't something that I planned on doing, but I'm happy that I took one and i'm not studying at the moment how did you apply for uni while taking a gap year i didn't apply for university while i was taking a gap year because it wasn't my plan to study to tell you guys the truth i would love to never have to study again in my life but now that i'm working with my family i know that i need to study so that i can continue the legacy of our family clinic you know what i mean i definitely wouldn't want to study but i know that i have to study i'm only going to start studying next year in 2022 when did your rewrite results come out they came out in february of 2021 were you contemplating on taking a gap year or has it always been something you wanted it wasn't always something that i wanted i never even thought about it until my parents brought it up so yeah i was definitely contemplating on it but later on i saw that you know what it will be best if i just take a gap year are you enjoying it though well i'm not in a gap year anymore but i definitely enjoyed it it was so nice to wake up late on certain days don't take a bath just stay in your pjs the whole day no one asks you what are you doing what are your plans because your plans are to be at home every single day like you have been for the past few months so yeah i definitely enjoyed all that time off things you wish you did during your gap year i definitely wish i traveled okay but first of all it was covid and second of all i did not have the means but if it were up to me i would have definitely loved to travel even if i didn't go abroad but just travel like around sa because sa has some very nice places hey like lodges and stuff like that so i would have definitely liked to travel during my gap year do you ever regret not having the varsity experience hell no the reason why is because I've always had freedom, like my parents are very understanding and chilled, so they would let me do whatever I want as long as I let them know and I ask for their permission. So I could still go out anytime I want, I could go out 
on a Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, I could go out the whole week if I want, which I think is part of the varsity experience, right? Like having freedom and doing what you want. So I can already do what I want. So even if I was at varsity or I was not at varsity, it wouldn't make a difference to me. So I definitely have not missed out on the varsity experience because baby, my life is the varsity experience. Real talk. <laughs> If you ever had a time of regret, what kept you going and inspired you to do better? I never had a time of regret. Like, I understand that every single thing that has been happening in my life up to so far has had its reason for happening. So I definitely never, ever, ever regretted taking a gap year. The first month or the first few weeks when like my peers were moving and you know starting varsity yes i was jealous and i was also wishing that i could have that opportunity but that was literally it i wouldn't call it a time of regret would you recommend taking one is it a good idea but also i recommend taking a gap year if you feel like school has been very 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 difficult for you and you just need a little break then please take a gap year because mental health is very important okay and at least now mental health isn't a taboo topic as it used to be in the past so it's okay to say i want to take a gap year to focus on my mental health okay so yeah i would recommend a gap year gap years are really good like if you are trying to find yourself or you're trying to get some work experience or you just need like a little mental break then a gap year is very good for you but some people feel like gap years are a waste of time I don't feel like it's a waste of time because honestly speaking, there is no set rule that is saying that after you are done with matric, you should go directly to school, you should go directly to college or varsity, you know. Whether you just want to take a break from school or you want to work or you want to travel, you want to work on yourself, it is a good idea. Is taking a gap year worth it? I often hear people say a gap year turns into gap years. Time! Were you thinking about my life when you asked me this question? I often hear people say a gap gap year turns into gap years because <laughs> this is my second year not being in school but honestly i'm loving every single moment of it so for me my gap year has been totally worth it i'm a completely different person i've grown so much like emotionally physically okay not physically okay physically yes i've gotten a little bit thick <laughs> but that's mm. Besides the point, but uh, my gap year has definitely been worth it. I've grown a lot. I've found out so many new things about myself and I love this new me, you know. I think your gap year will be worth it as well if you have certain things that you want to achieve from it and you work towards achieving it you know what i mean so if you have set a goal for yourself like you want to know more about yourself you want to understand yourself better and you want to find yourself and then you actually work towards that during your gap year you will achieve it and you will look back at your gap year and be like damn that was worth it so yeah my gap year was worth it for me i can't speak for anyone else is it good for your mental health baby it's good for your mental health if you will be doing something during your gap year. But if you're just going to be sitting every single day and not doing anything, not reading books, not studying, not rewriting, not studying for your learners or learning how to drive. Like if you are just going to sit every single day and not do anything, just eat and eat and eat, then it's not going to be good for your mental health, okay? I don't know if y'all did life science, but there is the theory of Darwin, okay, which is the theory of use and disuse. He says that if you don't use something anymore, it becomes inactive, it will decrease in size, it won't work anymore. So imagine if you are sitting at home for the whole year and you are not studying, you're not working, you're not learning, you're not doing this or this or that, baby, your brain will shrink. <laughs> I'm joking, your brain won't shrink, but you're like you will go into a dark space because you're not being productive, you're not using your mind, you're not using what you know you've got. So, yeah, it won't be good for your mental health. It's never good to just not do anything, it's not good. But if you have a plan or if you have things that you want to do during your gap year, then your gap year will be good for your mental health. If you are meant to be successful, you will be successful whether you go to varsity directly after finishing matric or you go after three years or four years or five years or ten years or you never go to varsity if you're meant to be successful you will be successful and you will get there at your own time you know and everything will work together for what it's supposed to you know everything will work together for the good so don't worry too much about that okay because i know most people feel like uh a gap year is putting me one year behind for my friends when my friends are in third year i'll only be in second year who the hell cares about that because even though your friends are in third year what guarantee do they have that they are going to be 
successful and that they even gonna finish off varsity you know what i mean so yeah we are all on our own journeys we are all in our own lanes at our own paces so let us stop let us stop comparing ourselves to our friends and our peers and let us stop putting ourselves under unnecessary pressure okay with that being said this video is over. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or you learned something from it, even if you just learned something about my personality, then baby, be sure to leave a comment down below and hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget, hello, to subscribe to my channel and become a faithful member of the... I don't know, I don't have a name for y'all yet. Actually, comment down name suggestions, like what I should call y'all, you know, like a Badoo Gang or whatever, but I don't know, that sounds very basic. But y'all, anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can become a part of this family. It's very nice here. It is hip and happening. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.